Hi everyone, my name is Mridul and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys a routine of sorts. It's not a makeup routine, rather it's a no makeup routine. So you could either use this uh, routine to kind of prep your skin for makeup or um, if you don't have the time to wear makeup, you could use this routine on its own. Also, I know that the title sounds a little bit off but I just want to clarify myself and say that um, I don't mean that you can't look good without makeup I feel I look good with or without makeup and I think you should feel the same what I meant uh, to convey is that this is just a really nice and easy way to kind of feel more put together and groomed so having said that let's just get started with today's video now I like to always begin by using these face razors I will link the ones that I use in the description box below but any face razors will do all you really need to do is pull your skin up upwards and use the razor in like a downward motion like how I'm doing it. Obviously you want to be careful while doing this but it's very difficult to hurt yourself with these razors. These razors are sharp don't get me wrong but at the same time not sharp enough to like cut yourself but obviously always be careful. For everyone who has been asking me how I get rid of my facial hair this is how I do it. I mainly shave my upper lips like the peach fuzz around it and my cheeks as well. Since I do wear makeup quite often it's really nice to shave my cheeks and forehead as well because it ensures really nice application of makeup and in between eyebrow threading I do use this razor to get rid of like the stray hair as well. Now shaving your face is sort of like gently exfoliating your skin but I like to really exfoliate my skin and for that I like to use my favorite body scrub it's by the Beauty Co and it's their coffee scrub in the activated charcoal variant. Now as I said this is a body scrub I do use this religiously every week but I like to use this on my face as well I like to use this about I would say twice or thrice a month I feel really comfortable using this on my face because it's made up of really nice skin friendly natural ingredients and it's packed with antioxidants that really help me like detoxify and brighten my skin from within so if you're looking for a face scrub or like a body scrub definitely give this one a shot the next product that I'm using is essentially some henna powder this is supposed to be used on like your hair to like color your hair but I like to use it on my eyebrows in order to tint my eyebrows. Now this is a 100% natural which is why I feel comfortable again putting it on my face. So I just follow the instructions on the back of the box and make this paste which I use on my eyebrows using an eyebrow brush. I use this like how I would like fill in my eyebrows. I just do that. I apply a very nice thick layer after which I just take a q-tip and dip it in any sort of moisturizer and clean out the edges. You obviously don't want this on your skin because it will stain your skin so just make sure that you're really precise with it. While the henna is drying on my eyebrows, I like to move on to the next step which is teeth whitening. I like to use this very natural product from the Beauty Co again and it's the teeth whitening coconut shell activated charcoal powder. I've shown this product before in my videos as well and uh, this is a product that I use almost every week and I love this product. Will definitely recommend this to you guys. As you can see I'm just using my everyday toothbrush and I dipped it in this powder and I'm just basically brushing my teeth on camera. Um, use it in like circular motions and really like scrub your teeth the way we scrubbed our uh, face we're scrubbing our teeth and it very naturally gets rid of the yellow plaque after using it for a minute or so I rinse out my mouth and I can definitely feel that my teeth and like my mouth is clean and um, after using it for like a prolonged period you can definitely see that your teeth do get whiter with time after letting the henna set for about two hours I just like to grab a cotton pad dip it in water and just very gently rub it on my eyebrows it really depends on what henna you use just follow the instructions on the back of the box as to how long you're supposed to leave it. I would suggest if the box says 30 minutes, leave it for 15 minutes because it's on your face and also do a patch test. And this is where the no makeup routine comes into play. So if you don't have the time um, like to do your makeup, this is what I guess you could do. So this is what I used to do. I used to take some talcum powder and just dab it kind of like I was baking under my eyes and my t-zone basically. I get really really oily and I would suggest doing this um, over your sunscreen and your moisturizer. For the eyes I like to use an eyelash curler. I will link this one in the description box below just like all the other products. This just really helps you open up your eyes without really taking the time and effort of applying mascara. For the 
the lips i'm gonna grab my toothbrush again and use that as a tool to scrub my lips i do this almost every other day and i love the way it makes my lips feel it kind of even plumps my lips in a way so i do that make sure to do this again very gently and just for a couple of seconds moisturize your lips i like to use some ghee i think it's the best it works better than any lip balm that i've ever used and by the end of it this is what i look like naturally very glowy and i would say very appropriate for the summers and yeah that's it for today's video i really hope you guys found this helpful and enjoyed watching this video as always all the products are going to be linked in the description box below and don't forget to subscribe and click on the little bell follow me on my instagram and follow simba lifestyle and i'll see you in my next video bye